So I just got my hands on the new Canon R5C, which is a more video centric camera than the older version, the Canon R5. However, one of the things that is missing from this new version is inclusion of the in-body image stabilization that Canon introduced to the mirrorless cameras a few years ago. So Canon, instead of going the typical route of having a stabilized sensor, which is what most people are used to see, they decided to go with something called electronic image stabilization, which Canon says that is almost just as good as having a stabilized sensor. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how the stabilization works on the Canon R5C and we'll be testing it in different scenarios, like number one, using zero stabilization on the camera, number two, with electronic stabilization turned on, and number three, a combination of electronic stabilization and a lens with optical stabilization, like the Canon 14 to 35 F4. And let's see how the stabilization works doing simple things like walking, running, and doing a vlogging test. And after watching the video, please comment down below what you think of the stabilization on the Canon R5C and if you think that electronic stabilization is really just as good as having a stabilized sensor. So let's not waste any more time and let's check it out. All right, so first I'm going to show you a walking test at 24 frames per second using the Canon 16mm RF with zero stabilization on the camera and zero stabilization on the lens. And this one is going to be your baseline so you can see how it looks when using zero stabilization. All right, so now I'm turning on the electronic image stabilization on the camera. And to my surprise, I think that it's not looking as good as I thought it would. Comment down below what you think of it. Alright, so now we're finally seeing some improvements when using the optical stabilization on the lens. In this case, I'm using the Canon 14 to 35 f4 with optical stabilization. So I think that if you're going to be shooting handheld with this camera, you gotta get a stabilized lens. Alright, so now for those people that want to vlog with this camera, I'm going to be showing you how the image looks when using no stabilization, electronic stabilization, and using a stabilized lens. So let's check it out. And lastly, we're going to be doing the running test, which I never recommend that you do without a camera stabilizer, but if for some reason you have to do it, this is what you should expect from it. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Click the like button if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe for more cameras for making and tech videos. See you in the next one.